Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm bare face. I feel like I never start a video like this, but new thing I'm starting, I guess. Um, today I'm doing my boxy charm. What I got on my boxy charm for the month of January, and I'm gonna do. Um, I'll show you guys what I have, and also use it um, in this video. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I got on my boxy charm this month, then keep on watching. So first, when you open it up, it has these two little cards, and one says Rock 2018, uh, and then it has another one as, as well, like a bigger one. Um, it has a bigger one, and then it tells you on the back how much all the products that are in here are. So for those who don't know, BoxyCharm is like a monthly subscription and I pay $21 per month but you get five, five products that are usually high end and um, they are usually, I think most of the, all of them are um, like full size, not like Ipsy bag. I used to get Ipsy bag but I changed to this one because I thought I should just invest $11 more and get full size rather than just getting like one full size and little mini ones. So yeah, I finally invested and I'm so excited because it's my first box. So yeah, that's what it says. And then the first thing I have is It Cosmetics Brow Powder, Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil which I think is great that it's like the universal one just because I mean that way it matches everyone because with Ipsy I had a lot of issues that a lot of the things I got like it wouldn't even match my skin or stuff like that so I think this is great so I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows with this I'm really excited to try this because I've only used Anastasia products for my eyebrows that and like the L'Oreal like I don't know what it's called but it's kind of like the dupe for the um, the was was brow brow was brow was I can't even talk. What's new, guys? So I'm really excited to try this. Um, so you open it. It's kind of hmm. That's very strange. I don't know if you guys can see. It's not exactly um. It's not exactly angled, but it's not exactly round. So this should be interesting because I really have a tr trouble sometimes doing my eyebrows. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys right now. So far, I like it. Um, I like how this... The spoolie side is thicker than usual. Like, I feel like the ones that come with the Anastasia and the other ones are like thinner on the top and this is like all pretty full on the side so it gets everywhere and I like it so far but I do notice if you want to go a little bit darker you have to put pressure which is not an issue at all because I rather put pressure than overdraw it and like it look really wild so now I'm going to do the other eyebrow So I just finished my eyebrows and I think they look pretty good. Uh, I really like this actually. I didn't think I was going to like it as much because I feel like you do have to put pressure but it's not really that much of an issue. Um, I love the spoolie. It's great. Honestly, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it this is currently $24. So I think it's about the same price as the Anastasia one. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. and. It's pretty easy to work with. Obviously, it's super buildable and stuff. So, yeah. Again, this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. Um, next, I'm going to use this Luminizer Primer Base 
uh, by Dr. Brandt. I've heard so many good things about it, and I still haven't tried it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use this to um, prep my face. It says, eliminating primer, all skin types. So, that's good, because usually, like, eliminating pri primers, you would think it's, like, for dry skin, because it wouldn't look good on oily skin, but I have, like, combination skin. So, we shall try this and see. It says pore no more, so it's also a pore minimizer, which is great, because that's what I look for in primers. I think I need a little bit more. So while I'm applying this, I don't know if I like the way it's applying. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it feels like I'm applying sunscreen and I really have to rub it in and I don't know, it doesn't feel that moisturized. I don't know. It's like, I feel like it's sunscreen when you really have to like rub it in to get it everywhere it smells pretty good excuse my ratchet nails that have two broken nails but I mean I like it so far I just don't like how it applies so that's my only issue with it um, again this is the Dr. Brandt luminizer primer and this is originally goes for $38 so, I mean, just these two products, this is 24 and this is 38 and they're full sizes, they, it was only $21. I think it was plus tax, so maybe $22, $23, but. So, um, I'm going to go apply my foundation and my foundation and my concealer and powder and I'll be right back with it. Okay, so I'm back and I have my foundation, my concealer, and my um, my powder. And I actually really like how my face looks with this primer. It looks like really glowy, really natural. I don't know if you guys can see, but I just really like it. I just don't like the application, but I feel like I can work with it if it's going to give me this finished look for right now. So next, we're going to go on with the eyes. This Glam Metals by Crown Palette. Um, this is so, so pretty. So this is what it looks like. And it has like a little guitar and stuff mirror. So the shades are right here. They are so beautiful. Um, so I'm going to start with let's see what makeup look i can do this palette actually comes with eight metal shades and one matte with the matte would be this black one right here and it's called black metal um it is really pretty so to start with my transition shade i'm gonna use actually i'm gonna use my cute af um pal palette from colourpop and i'm gonna use uh, let's see what makeup look do I want to go for. I'm going to use the shade Chauffeur right here. This matte brown. I'm going to put that all over my crease. And I'm using my Luxie brush, small taper blending brush in 231. And I'm just going to put that on my crease. And back and forth just so that's my transition shade since all of them are metallic glittery shades so this will help it transition and look a lot better Then I'm going to use my other Luxie T2 
tapered blending brush, the 205. The other one was the small tapered one, so this is a little bit fluffier and bigger. It is really, really nice. So I'm just gonna, in little circular motions, blunt that out really nicely. Like so. So then I'm going to use this shade right here, this um, burgundy color, it's called Wild Things. And I'm going to use my Luxie brush, the eye shading in 213. And then it's just a flat brush, like so. Um, and put that right where my lash line is and work my way into the lid and just taper that in since it is a more glittery consistent so it actually stays like that that is such a pretty beautiful eyeshadow I'm super impressed how pigmented this is. And I didn't even use um, my glitter primer by like the NYX one I have, which usually helps a lot more. Like, this is just great. Oh my god, I love this. You guys have no idea how impressed I am by this. Um, this palette usually runs for, um, where is it, $25, so it's not too expensive, but that's such a great palette. I'm like really impressed with this. I'm going to go again with my Tabor Blending Brush, the 205, and just blend that all up so that there's no harsh lines. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Okay, so then I'm going to get my pencil brush, the Luxie 217. just looks like this. Um, and I'm going to get that black metal right here. And put that in the very corner, the outer corner in a V shape. So that looks a little bit darker and a lot prettier. So like that. But obviously I'm going to blend it out. I just want it to look as equal as possible. Then I'm going to go again with my small taper blending brush and blend those harsh lines and go in C motion back and forth. So I'm going like this. So back and forth. And it blends really nicely. You have to pull the eye sometimes, it helps blend it out a little bit nicer, like so. And if you have a darker one, darker side, you just add more product. Sometimes with the black, that can happen. Then with the big one again, just blending that out. Circular motions. A 
the blending. Those harsh lines out. I really love this palette, guys. I didn't think it was going to be my cup of tea just because the colors are not really what I usually go for. But you'd be surprised how great these shadows are. Next for liner, I'm going to actually use my MAC Fix Plus and my Lexi Flat D Definer um, brush and just spray it. And use that black metal so I can go line my eyelash, my lash line. I can't even talk. So I'm going to be lining my lash line like so, keeping it very natural, nothing wing, nothing crazy, like so. And I'm going to use my Lexi 211 brush. I'm going to use the color The Wicked, which is this purpley brown. And mix it with Wild Things at the same time. And just put that on my lower lash line. Very subtle, but very pretty. This looks so pretty, especially for a night out. I feel like this is the palette because it has like really dark colors, but they are beautiful. So that is the look for right now. Um, I'm going to add some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just apply my mascara. I'm not wearing any falsies today because I just feel like that my eyes should be focused on the eyeshadow rather than big lashes. And honestly, I love this look. Like, I could honestly wear this all the time, like, especially at night. I love it. I really, really do love it. So, next, not to get carried away <laughs> or anything. Oh, again, I just wanted to mention the palette was uh $25 so that's what it says right here and lastly I have this pure bronze and brighten palette I'm so excited to try this can't open it with my nails oh how pretty is that I love it so I'm gonna use this um it's the mineral glow that's what it's called um and i'm gonna bronze with that and see see i usually don't bronze with such shimmery golden shades but we shall see how this looks oh and i'm using my lexi La lush Lexi Large Powder Brush in a 502. I like bronzing with big ones. I didn't contour before because I just want to see what this looks on its own. And for you guys who noticed, yes, I dyed my hair. I went back to full brunette. I felt like it was time. I had been a blonde for so long since like this summer and even before that my hair was like so much lighter but I just miss my brown hair so yeah I mean I still have one more to go because since I had blonde it will wash out so maybe it'll be darker oh my god I really like this for bronzing see I usually don't use shimmery bronzers but this is so pretty I'm like very impressed with this guys of course bronze under the neck there's no harsh lines this is such a pretty beautiful glow 
I might look a little crazy on camera, but it's really just so glowy and pretty. Okay, so next I'm going to use this shade right here, which is Blushing Glow for my blush. I try to stay away from shimmery um, bronzers and blush because I feel like your highlight should do that job. But this is really pretty. We'll just put a tiny bit because the bronzer just looks already crazy enough. But I'm actually going to use my MAC 150 brush and just blend it all out. This has no product in it, so I don't look too crazy and then I'm going to use my Luxie tapered highlight brush the 522 and I'm going to use this last shade after glow it is such a beautiful shade let's see how it looks on the skin though Ooh, that is so pretty. Do you guys see that? I'm like very impressed with this. That's like the highlight. Do you guys see that? It's like bam. Right there. Oh my god. This is so pretty. I'm like, I just want to keep applying it because it's just really pretty. This actually reminds me of like a, I don't know. Reminds me of like an Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But I can't remember which one because at the same time I'm like, no, there's nothing like it. It is so pretty. My God. So this whole little palette thing, which is amazing, is $34.00. So it is a bit pricey, but when it comes with all of this and I mean, I'm not a huge fan of glowy bronzers, but this just looks really pretty. So I really, really like this. I think this is my new to go, especially for traveling. So yeah, this is $34 or like separately. And then the last product I have is this girl. Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Demure. I think that's what it's Demure. It doesn't say. Yeah, Demure. It is this like burgundy pretty color. So let's try it on, on the lips. This is so pretty. I really love this look. Like, it is a very bronzy, dark look. Like, with the lip, with the eyeshadow and stuff. Of course, there's so many looks you can, like, make with this palette right here. But it, I feel like it's mainly, like, dark looks, which is still, like, such a beautiful palette. Honestly, I am very content with this month's boxy charm i'm very happy that my first box was like so good i feel like this goes with my dark hair so it couldn't have come like at a better time the only thing i was kind of eh, iffy about is that it came like pretty late i came it literally just came yesterday which would have been yesterday was the 19th so i feel like it's a bit late because usually my Ipsy bag came within the first week of the month, which is fine. I can wait, but like making videos for you guys and just, you know what I mean? 
I, I would like it if it came before or shipped before or whatever. But it's fine. I mean, I love all the products. I would definitely recommend getting a BoxyCharm. $21, guys. It is... I know it seems like a lot when it's like monthly. You're like, ugh. Because you could have used that for like other things. But for all the products you're getting that you would normally buy at Sephora, Ulta, or online that are usually like... Again, like I said, the primer was $38. The It Cosmetics Brow um, Pencil is $24. The palette is $25. The Bronzing Highlight and uh, Cheek Palette was $34. And the lipstick is usually $23. So if we add all that up, it comes out to a total of... hundred and forty four dollars that would you would minus 22 let's say you're saving a hundred and twenty two dollars on all these products and i know like sometimes you won't get things you would really like maybe but like on this honestly i didn't think i was going to use this palette and now like i really love the look i made with it and now i think it's going to be like one of my two goes when i go out with my girlfriends and stuff so i mean you just have to try it out the lipstick, I love this color, honestly, and I've never even heard of this brand. Maybe you guys have, but I haven't, and like now I'm like obsessed with it, and I like because it's not sticky. It's a very nice like raspberry color, and it's awesome. The bronzing, like I said, the bronze cheek palette, love it. The primer makes my skin look so glowy and natural like my skin. And like the pores are not there at all. Look at that highlight, guys. I'm just saying. The eyebrows, I, I liked. I didn't love the pencil, but it was like a nice pencil. I, I stick to my Anastasia ones just because that one I felt like it was very like, you had to like put a lot of pressure into it, which isn't a problem, but I'm picky like that, I guess. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get that personally. I like it. I'm going to use the heck out of it until it's gone, but I wouldn't purchase it. I'd rather use the Anastasia, and I hope you guys, I'm just being, like, super honest because I just want to be honest with you guys. I'm telling you how it works, and I just don't want to tell you, like, bye, 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 um, when I honestly don't like the products. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, this I really love. Like I said, the lipstick I love. This little cheek palette i love i think this is perfect for traveling like it doesn't get better than that the only problem with the eyeshadow palette for me would be um that it doesn't have a transition shade but it doesn't matter i can use like another palette with transition shade or even like an own like a different like bronzer or stuff that i would have with me and then this i really liked i didn't like the way it applied at first because it does feel like sunscreen to be honest but I really like the way my skin looks. So, like, my pores are completely gone. And that's, like, a lot to say because I have, like, all these pore minimizing ones that I love. But now that I've used this, like, that one, yeah, it minimizes my, pore, my, minimizes my pores, but not, but not as much as this one. I'm just saying, guys, like, I would give it a try if I were you. $21 a month if you guys can't afford it a month or so you can cancel or put your thing on hold Which is fine. I know you can pay like up to six months or up to a year and it's like cheaper But it is like a hundred or two hundred dollars per I can't remember exactly what the prices are so I just go month by month but honestly for all this stuff I'm that was Original, like I would have paid $144 for everything and I just paid it $21 or $22 plus like $21 plus tax. It is amazing. But yeah, I really like this how it came out. Honestly, it is really pretty. So yeah. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. 
And if you guys um, want to see any other types of videos, like honest reviews and just trying things like this, then please let me know. I love doing these kind of videos. I miss doing makeup tutorials. I feel like all I've done lately have been like vlogs and just talking videos, which is what I love the most rather than voiceovers. But I really love doing makeup. So, yeah, guys. So, thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.